Hello, hope you are doing well. I am Harshita Patel, a Senior Analytics Specialist Solution Architect at AWS. In this demo, we will see how you can perform data analysis using Amazon Redshift Query Editor version 2 with a power user-like experience. Query Editor version 2 is a thin client. It is web-based, serverless, which allows you to query, analyze the data, visualize it, as well as share queries with the team for collaboration. Query Editor version 2 can be found on the landing page when you log on to AWS on the Amazon Redshift console. To get your end user started, you can attach one of the AWS managed policies to enable them to use Query Editor, or you can also choose to use customized managed policy if you want to customize the permissions. For team assignment, you can use the tagging, I am role-based tagging with the name SQL Workbench Team. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use Sales as my team name. Let's dive into the demo. From the Redshift console, you can navigate to Query Editor version 2. When you log on to the Query Editor, you will be able to toggle the background. You can either choose to prefer a white background. Uh, I personally like the black background, so I'm going to toggle back. You can navigate to different clusters you are connected. You can log on to the cluster by providing a user ID and a password or by using temporary credentials. You can click on the cluster, navigate through the different databases you might have. You can look at the local schema and it also supports external schemas. You can expand the schemas to navigate to the objects. To create new objects, you can click on Create. Let's take a look at an example to create a table by using a CSV file. We'll specify the schema name demo and give it a name of the table, match info local. And then click on load from CSV. This file is stored locally on the laptop. And over here, I'll select match info. With this, it will create the list of the columns, the corresponding data type. You also have the ability to add new columns, change the defaults, and once you are OK, click on Create Table. This will create the table in the schema demo. To view the table definition, you can click on the name of the table, and it will show you the pane with the column names and corresponding data type. You can right-click the table, select the table, or you can also truncate and drop the table. To enable collaboration and sharing, you can enable the sharing to the sales group. You can view the shortcuts that Query Editor provides you. Now let's go ahead and execute the queries in the Queries tab. You can set session parameters, followed by the query. And when you run, it executes multiple queries. You are able to see the results in the results pane. You can also export the result sets, either in a CSV format or in the JSON format. You can also copy the data set. Query Editor version 2 allows you to run multiple queries. In this example, we are dropping the schema, creating the schema, creating a table, followed by the copy command and the select. For each of those queries, separate tabs are open for the result. It includes the execution time. The results that are displayed, it's limit 100. You can disable the limit 100 toggle button and then you can explicitly specify the limit of records you want to get displayed. Query Editor version 2 also supports parameterized queries. Over here, we are changing the parameter and executing the query.
Let's take a look at how you can use the visual explain. So over here, we enable the explain and you are able to see the explain plan of the query before you execute it. Now let's go ahead and execute this query. The data set is displayed in the grid format. Now to graphically represent this data, we'll click on chart. Over here, the same data set, the results are represented in the line chart format. To change the chart, you can select the chart type that meets how you can visualize your data. We are going to save this chart. We can also save the queries for further collaboration or for versioning. Over here, we are able to see the charts that we have saved. And let's click on the Queries tab. Over here, we can group the queries. And these are the queries which were previously saved. You can right click to see the different versions of the query. And if you choose, you can revert back to the previous version. You can also click on the query that you have saved so that you can further do modification or execute the queries. To provide us feedback, please click on the feedback button and we would really love to see your feedback. How is your experience and what features that can be added? Thank you for watching.